welcome. Uh, so that was an interesting thing. Uh, just got NVIDIA 3D glasses, and this game does not play well with them. Um, everything is, becomes extremely orange. Okay, let's see. I still need to do that. I did that. And Freya. Okay, I need to do keep and... I think I'm going to go here. Alrighty, now last time I came up against a door that I could not open. And then I think I did some other stuff. And now I'm here. Okay. Thunk. And I think this is a plus four. Yeah, okay. Cool. Um, actually, this is maybe not helping a whole lot. Yeah, I hope I should have checked this before coming here. Perhaps okay. I have one. Um, I don't know how many I'll need, but there was when I came here earlier. I discovered a uh, statue. They've added a lot more petrification, petrification, petrified statues. Um, fragrant branches of yore are significantly more valuable. Uh, although perhaps a little bit more proliferated as well. Come on. Let me smack you. Smack. That's probably overkill. Oh boy, this thing is wearing out. Ow. One moment, let me find the door. Ow! I don't think I needed that explosion. Didn't really need that explosion. Okay, let's try that again. I wish this weapon had better durability. What is its durability? Hmm. Do I have... No, and I don't actually know for sure where they are. I know there was one in... I think pa a little bit past where I'm trying to get to. Good job, guy. Good job, you blew us up. Uh, but I don't know if it's still there or not. Uh, and needless to say, I can't get something that I can't get to either, so. This thing hits like a truck for sure. I guess with the right spacing. Kind of miss its old moveset though. Bit sluggish. Life jump's nice to see though. Uh, okay, and that guy doesn't even respawn. Uh, what are these guys, Batman? If you want a game that does work well with NVIDIA 3D, Batman, by the way. Uh, Arkham City does. That works pretty well. Um, boom! Yeah, I saw that coming. Get the pokes. Heavenly Thunder is going to be pretty unimpressive on this character. Uh, 
primarily because my casting tool is, shall we say, underwhelming. Ow. Okay. I'm going to check down this way also, though I may go down there the front way. Uh, I want to investigate what items there might be around here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Parry! Yeah! That's like my new favorite thing that you can do is parry break stuff. Um, why is there an orange message floating in midair? How is there an orange me- you know what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Those were a couple of failed parry attempts. That guy's in a pot? Whatever you want to call those things. That door's still a door to nowhere. It's pretty tough, actually. Quite impressively so. Hmm. Part of me wants to go and grab the thing, too. That's still reasonably decent. Hmm. Kinda wanna go grab a torch. Uh, this way. Actually, I wanna go light a bunch of areas over here. Bear with me. I feel like lighting stuff. Because I can. And isn't that what this game is all about? Finding sconces and putting fire in them. What was that? Oh, that was them respawning the corpses. That's probably what that was. I mean, it's a bizarre thump, though. Okay. They did a really good job with making the fire feel like fire. It's actually kind of an interesting thing, because one of the things that you don't think about is that fire flickers at an inconsistent rate. Um, so if you just kind of stand here ambiently, there's a slight twinging effect that goes on. I don't, twinging is probably not a good technical term for it, but that's how I describe it. Ooh, that was a little nerve-wracking there. Uh, where the lighting kind of pulses with the flame to give it that the feeling that it is being lit by fire. Uh, which I think is kind of interesting. Is there anything to light in here? I don't think so. But it's a very distinctive sort of thing. Yeah, and if I just stand here and you look for it, you can feel the pulsing. Um, which is an important part of making it feel like fire. Uh, and they did a good job with the coloration as well. That phantom wailing at stuff gave me a slight moment of panic. Looking for sconces. And there's a sconce over here. That'd be fun if you could... So I'm pretty sure Chameleon can cause you to look like a torch sconce. It'd be really kind of funny if you could uh, set a light in a torch sconce player. Then they start taking damage. That'd be funny. Hmm. Yeah. I don't think I'm going to need the caster buddy, but there is a, I believe, a caster buddy there. Okay, no more sconces. Let's go fight ourselves some sentinels, unless they change this boss fight for some reason that I wouldn't expect. Yeah, okay, it's for sentinels. Uh, touche. Excuse me one moment while I try to remember how to fight this boss.
not quite what I wanted to have happen. I fought these guys all the time down in their little hut area, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, in um, Dragon Lake Castle. But it's been a while, obviously. Thank you. Important part is keeping them in sight. There we go. That move can only hit you once for some reason I've never quite comprehended. Goes the sentinels. Oh man, I sincerely would like it if they've added things that you can make out of that soul. As I knew, it was an inexplicable spell. I'm gonna go look inside these uh, a little later. But I want to make sure I open them all first, because there's a bajillion. Okay, I feel like I've been around this place like twice. Yeah, things didn't go well for a lot of those folks. I don't think there's another one there, no. <laughs> and the sign was even pointless. That's uh, actually a pretty good idea. There it is. Not taking 8 damage out of 10. That, that makes no sense. I don't know actually how that trend got started. Hush. And then... Somewhat. Yay, you did it. Here's some homeward bones. Congratulations. I think if you have the... A slightly different control scheme... I think the locks are on Mimics. Target shield. I think if you have a slightly different the the different alternate method of jumping. This room is pointless, right? Yay, her off are pointless. Um You can jump further. I feel like that's what I've heard. Uh, I never really got used to it, so I don't feel like changing that. But there are supposedly some benefits to being used to it. I think, well, okay. Whenever I say, I think this item is X, keep in mind, okay, it's still Rouge Water. I'm talking about this item, I'm pretty sure, was X in Dark Souls 2, and not necessarily the case in Swallow of the First Sin, because I would be mistaken in a number of occasions. Soul item, soul item. Explody dude. Explody dude. This seems like an excellent time to go restock my supplies, and by supplies I mean get some levels, but also maybe some supplies. Um, right now I just want more endurance, so that's what I'm going to get. 
not quite sure when I'll stop piling on endurance. I might take a break at 40 and level some other stats. This character's probably just going to level everything, frankly. I might hold out on leveling Vit. Uh, at least for a little bit, uh, for the purposes of trying out doing stuff with Flynn's ring. But not sure long-term plans, hundred percent. Let's see. I'm gonna go that way later. Uh, I'm gonna grab a torch. Cause I feel like it. Wait, there wasn't anything along this wall, was there? I don't think so. I think the wall that I'm thinking of is elsewhere. There's a lot of hidden walls in this map, though. Well, that guy's gone. Random loot over this way, isn't these barrels are not black. I'm not worried about them exploding. Oh! Well then. Ow! 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 Oh, that was good. That was good. I don't know where this guy came from. He's getting friggin' stabbed. Now I'm wondering what's behind the gargoyles. Ow. What? The snot? Uh... Okay. Well, they wanted to very emphatically announce their presence. Oh, a few flying butterflies. I'm not going to... Well, you know what? Why not? Yeah, I made it. Uh, yep. Yeah. That was an explosion, alright. Oh yeah, I remember that wall. Did anybody ever find a purpose for that? If you're actually watching this and can answer, feel free to do so in the comment section, wherever that is. Below the video. On the YouTubes. Oh, this is interesting. Excuse me as I get fascinated by, uh, ceiling grates. I think that was a little premature, fellow. I find a bow to be an excellent method of taking care of them. I wonder if I can snipe him from here. No. Bye. Here's where I was thinking of. Nope. Apparently there's not where I was thinking. I was thinking over here. Green blossoms are not terribly fascinating. This is where the... 
uh, pursuer shows up again. You know, I was sincerely hoping I was outside of his range there. Yeah, I thought he might catch me. That's why I double chugged Estus. Definitely do not have an interest in getting hit by that. Yep. I will keep getting your Twinkling Titanite. Excuse me, fine sir. You have an interest in our high quality head chopping technique. Bracing Knuckle Ring. Now, is that the one I was thinking of? I think this does not actually help my weapon all that much. Uh, no, that does add 20. On the other hand, I could use slightly slowed equipment degradation because I feel like I've been having it weakened a good bit. Uh, that would do something about it. Curious if this is still that shield that it used to be. They made it harder to explode the door to McDuff, but they made it easier, or at least I feel like it was harder. Okay, still the same goodies. Yeah. Um, I did manage to get it blown up, but it took me more tries. Uh, that's potentially a player. Um, but they made it easier to get the Bastille key since it's no longer hidden in a dog pit behind the gargoyles. So, I think that used to be like a human effigy or something. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. I can't just jump. That's annoying. Uh, well... Uh, you know, I might, out of curiosity, attempt, okay, yeah, no, that's not happening, and it is giving me a case of fear of the heights. <laughs> reminds me of a joke, I guess. I don't have a fear of heights. I can look up them all day. It's depths that scare me. Message! That's the best message. Um. Well, that was fun. I wonder if they gave any indications to where I'm at. I I'd like to be able to just use the the bonfire, but as has been demonstrated by the message flashing across my screen, I have been invaded. So oh, and then I just got eaten by dogs. I was not expecting the plunging attack to have my halberd pointed straight down. I was expecting it to be held out in front of me. Um, so the range was drastically smaller than what I was thinking it was going to be. Um, I'm going to go grab my souls. I should be... I don't know. Right over here. Um... How many... Oh. 
One twinkling titanite upgrades will not accomplish. Uh, exactly 10,000 souls, eh? That sounds to me like a bunch of arrows. There we go. That's a good stock. Dear flame. He loves his flame. Alright, back to Explodey Land. I want to figure out where that guy came from so I know where he's came from. That's not as insightful sounding as it's meant to be. There he is. Poke you in the face. Yeah. Got your gloves. Boah ha ha Um, I do actually want to continue on towards Strayed at all, but... I kind of... What are you doing? I'm not sure if I'm surprised that that worked or not. That plunging attack worked out significantly better. Oh, there went my block. Oh, that hurts. Okay, so yeah, I uh, um, they made a change there. So it used to be that one of those explodey guys dropped the uh, equipment I just picked up, the Wanderer's gear. Excuse me, I wanted to write that message that said hurrah for rolling. Um, but the problem that could develop was that he... Uh, had a bit of a possibility of, shall we say, dying in an inconvenient spot. Um, sinking. Uh, which could mean that you wouldn't be able to access it because the drop would be in an inaccessible location. Um, That's the only spot to get that particular Archer Drake shield, uh, as a random aside. Uh, so that's part of the reason why I wanted to go get that. Um, Is there no? Huh, there's no braziers in here. Sconces, whatever. Good. Um. Yes? That really rather lights up the room, doesn't it? I want those guys to have a slightly better drop rate. But I like seeing them elsewhere. Hey, it's Pairing Dagger. Yeah, I imagine that's happened to a lot of people. They open the chest and then that guy drops down and gets them. Twin blade. Is it an 
elevator somewhere. Not mimic. Bone staff. I don't get it. I think, yeah, that's a soul vessel. Um, it's a respawning soul vessel, I suppose, too, really, if you think about it. I wonder if there's anything up in this tunnel. Like, I'm not expecting to get a whole lot out of this tunnel. Yeah, okay, it is the same tunnel. Uh, that leads back onto the pathway outside Macduff's uh, workshop. And uh, it's... <sighs> this map would be amazing to hold like some large PvP thing on with like teams and stuff because it's such an intricately designed map this must go up but uh... the uh, unfortunate thing about this game is that it doesn't really support that very well uh... in particular i think of guild versus guild from uh, Guild Wars 1 is something that would be really cool here. Okay, I think I've gone more or less full circle. I'm not really interested in going in that room. Um, High strayed. I do not currently have a thing for him. Cause he's the last one getting to the sentinels. There's not a whole lot of point to that. However, you could theoretically leave this up, I guess? Down. Uh, and thus confuse your enemies. Uh, ooh, cool. Royal Great Sword. I need, like, a scimitar or something for parrying. I'm just not used to trying to parry with this. Those are flaming arrows, it looked like. Uh, there's a couple of exploding barrels along that, so that would be... Oh, I hope I don't have to randomly fight the pursuer in the water. That would be an unfortunate placement. Interesting. The guys moved. They do that. Uh, this is the ordinarily what I would do uh, is get up and down from the spawn fire a bajillion times to kill all of those dudes on the basis that I really am not interested in uh, respawning there and having them immediately attack me. There we go. I am not remembering how to work these things, apparently. But, uh...
Okay, yeah, that worked really poorly. I got really disoriented by having the torch out there. Um, and that guy coming behind me. I, I should have cleared out that room first. Oh, there's few, just straight up fewer guys here. There's one guy, but with fire bolts. It's going to say fire arrows, and I realized that was going to be a wrong statement. So they at least made that spot wor uh, worse, less bad by reducing the number of dudes. It used to be three guys. People fell prey to this similar sort of thing. Okay. So I'm going to. Probably could have done that on the elevator, but I'm going to go grab a torch before I head down. <laughs> yeah, they remembered. Uh, the message said trio. And indeed there was, but there is now not. Okay, there's still that item in the corner, so I'm going to want to remember to drop off for it. I imagine it's still the, like, five-ish lacerating daggers, knives, whatever they were called. Yeah. I will want to become... Oh, I'm using a really bad weapon for this area. Um... Wait, what? Oh, are you... What? You want to come up here? I'm going to send this elevator up. I... I have mixed feelings about this. On the one hand, that is a so much more logical placement for that guy than where they had a second one before. Um... Where is my morning star? I theoretically want my morning star because the heavy water would decrease the effectiveness of the fire half of the Black Knight Halberd. Lucatiel, you are champ number one. Stay here, please. Eh, it helped. My eyes look very green. That's no different than it used to be. 
Uh, that is not an area I wish to explore especially much. On account of not particularly wanting to walk off a cliff. Blossom Kite Shield? Okay. Um, well, that's a very different location for that item. It used to be located... Uh, being wary of enemies here. The Blossom Kite Shield used to be located in a chest inside of a memory of a giant. Uh, hi. How are you doing, Mr. Hayden Knight? Of course Lucatil would see fit to fight him. Well, there's the Hide Spear. Makes me want to get enough faith for a great heal. Bountiful sunlight. Uh, who what? So sort of luet. Sure, that guy looks. Sufficiently preposterous. I feel like that should be an NPC, but I honestly don't know. Ice Lord? Sure. I will summon a phantom. This is a player, though. Wish they gave the NPCs rings of regeneration. Praise the sun. Excuse me while I go light some things. I get three summons. That's kind of cool. Out of my way. Thank you. Okay. Let's go boss fog this. Yep. It's... I mean, this fight. What do you want from me? Uh, agility, actually. That's going to be the next thing I want to try to work on. Excuse me, I'm going to be a little quiet while I focus on the fight. There's not a whole lot to say, it's just Lost Center anyway. With, you know, a bajillion people. Meat shields! Where's Bao?
Okay, that's taken care of. Wretch uh, ahead. I don't know about that, but there is a chest. There's a fragrant branch of your and an Elizabeth's mushroom. That should theoretically take me back up to the top of Sinner's Rise, which is where I want to go. I forgot that's what that did. I uh, can't be invaded here. Man, that icon is wigging me out, though. Not used to it. Uh, I want to go defrost straight. If anybody was wondering, that's what I'm doing right now. Uh. Love a bow. Such an effective way of getting rid of these guys. I mean, yeah, it costs 10 souls per shot, but... Not having to worry about them exploding on me is so worth it. Hey, he gets the... I don't know why it's called Mock, but I think that's a Dark Souls 1 reference, uh, because it's a similar animation to Shrug, but also to the animation that you'd play when you couldn't use an item, and players would sometimes spam that. Um, it was a way of making a jokesy. Well, I will take Mythos Bent Blade. Um... Sure, each of those. Pursuer's Sword. Warp Sword is apparently really good. Um, bone Scythe. Oh. Oh. Oh, no, that's cool. I'm going to have to read about those. What is this? Oh, that's the gape ring. Um, I mean, I don't know that I'll use it, but I might as well buy it, because it's here. Um, flame swath. Like, I'll want all of these eventually, but I'm not going to worry about picking them all up until I can... No, I'm really not going to grab that. Ah, uh, until I can farm Giant Lord. Um, okay, I want to... Uh, look at this forlorn stuff. I can find it. There's a probe there, right? Head of the Forlorn, who wandered the land of the undead. Born of Aldia's obsession with the first sin, the Forlorn lost 
both their corporeal form and a world to call their own. Now they drift into other worlds, ever in search of a home. But without self, one has neither beginning nor end, and so the forlorn have only to wander. That's actually a really nice looking hood. Um, curious what it upgrades with, but... Gauntlets of the Forlorn. Same text, it looks like. Yeah. Yep. Cool. So it was begun. Okay. There wasn't a chest piece of the forelon. Okay. Those guys stand back up. You think where? Uh, not those. I want to buy your two spells to have them for my collection. Me again. Whenever I please, yes I know. where I'm going. You've had you must what a Great Hill excerpt. I have a copy of Force, I don't need it again. Homeward probably be cheaper. Homeward was extremely useful in Dark Souls 1 up until I found the ability to dupe uh, Homeward Bones. Um, but the Aged Feather combined with a more linear structure. This game makes those sorts of items less useful. I'm going to go talk with this fellow here. I will always be here. Watching, watching over you. Hush. Do you see the way? Don't, but don't venture. Hades. The gate is, but have it work. May you find. Hmm. Well, there's already 10 million deaths. Quite a high. I'd forgot once. I'm grateful. It is. May you find peace. Uh, he's happy about all the people that are here now. You up to reinforce my be safe. my pyro flame may in fact be in my bottomless box. I want to put a few things away too, actually. Um, I think I like that one. Uh, uh. Okay, I had like several tattered cloth duplicates, so I don't need that, and I don't need the duplicate priestess thing. Um, so you don't have any rings that I've made bad now. I'm going to hide most magic. Or most non miracle magic. I'll be using other stuff on her later, but I'm focusing on miracles right now. I'm glad. There we go. I'm always here. She is cheerful. See, that's 19, 22. Yeah, that requires 28, though, and I don't have enough for that. Uh, replenishment. 
No, I'm just gonna put uh, healing miracles on my bar uh, because I don't see a reason not to do that. Uh, this is gonna be painful, isn't it? items later. I am totally going to be using a lot of mace here. Okay, that's a little different. Um, no immediate. Fewer dudes, but the one dude that's there is more aggressive about getting onto the bridge. Okay. I didn't think there would be anything on those stairways to... Yeah, this person's obviously played, been playing this a lot more than I have. Uh, for one thing, you can tell by their equipment uh, that I've not gotten far enough for that stuff yet. I should check my soul count. Um, I'm going to blame the gape ring on that one. I don't feel like I should have had to fight a person with that gear. That felt good. That was lucky, though. These guys are hard to parry because their timing is all sorts of wonky. I'm expecting to die a lot on my way through here because of players. Unless if this isn't a player. What the heck is that supposed to have been? Oh, that's goop that like... Yeah, this is an NPC. Yeah, that's way too much health for a player. If you're gonna just stand back, I'm gonna heal. I'll take my free effigy, thanks. I don't know why that guy just stood around. You have wares, congratulations. Um, I want talkie heads. Ancient talkie heads. Ancient heads at the top. No, that's not going to be said correctly. I mean it. A ring of... I don't care what. I enjoy it. I suppose I'm not. Cheers. Yep. I don't know. I want another talkie head. Go oh, me again. More talkie heads, please. Your last talkie head. Uh, black fire bombs. I don't care about those things. That's curse bite. Um. Pop those. That should. Oh yeah, that gives me plenty enough. 
I'm going to buy whoop and one of those because I can um your human effigy because why not your repair powder because why not that seems good thank you no pressure yep no pressure uh hi why do you have a slight glowy outline to you why did you take more hits is this still a ferro stone? It is still a ferro stone. I am not going to worry about whatever items in the fire. Oh, yep. Is this still a bunch of fire arrows? Still a bunch of fire arrows. Is this still mostly useless? I'm still mostly useless. Uh, its damage is not particularly exciting, which is why I called it mostly useless for anybody who is wondering. I want these here and these here. Looks like they got rid of that guy and replaced him with Bridge Man. Ow, that was me and my head. There's somebody over there. Yay, using stuff iframes. Wee. I'm going to hide over here by this ladder. Yeah, that guy doesn't know how to path to me. That's, I'm happy for that. Um, hi. I'll just be up here. Ow, I walked into that one. Ow. Pro tip, you can drink Estus on ladders. Alright, are you people done stabbing me? Okay, now that Giganto Furnace should be done cooling off. I'm going to have a heal. Okay, nobody in the furnace. That's nice. That's still pretty good. Uh, Petrified Dragon Bone being the item of excellence there. There are more of those. 
pillars. Uh, I'm gonna go after Smelter. Uh, but I am taking out that guy and grabbing that loot first, so that way I don't forget it. Because Smelter is a slightly different location uh, that he takes you out, so it's easy to overlook it. Well, I don't know what that is because it's not the Dull Ember. I will actually be checking out what that item is later. Um, excuse me, they have made that area a rather terrifying prospect. Ugh. Didn't quite get out of range in time. I was afraid that would happen. Oh well. Uh, let's see how many souls I'd line over there. Out. That sounds like another NPC. I think that there could be a large place for players using spoof NPC names. Ow, that was a spell. Okay, I'm going to ignore Mr. Inaccurate long enough to grab my souls. Okay. I feel like that desummon was too fast for it to be a... I could be wrong. Well, that's absolutely has to be an NPC. If it's using that spell... Oh, dang, that is painful. You. Out of my way. Plus that shield. That is very unlikely to be a player. I'm going to run myself out of Lone Knights, aren't I? I'm going to recover my health. And look for summon signs, frankly. Yeah, I don't get in here. Get in here, Emma. This 
place is kicking my butt. Nah, I don't need red signs. Right, let's go see about trying to beat in some Milan Knights. That is exactly what I wanted to see. Armor Dennis here is just a bit bulky. There we go. Now I get the purpose of Mr. Bowman. He's literally a bowman. Uh, shooting from that window. I just never go straight through that room, so... Had not... seen that before. That was helpful. Got it. Oh, okay. Look at Teal of Mira. Other random Sunbro. Hopefully, that person's name being something, 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 something troll doesn't mean they're a horrible troll. Um. Alright, let's go find ourselves a uh, smelter demon. I find it weird that he is poisonable. I 
There we go. My giant pile of souls. Yeah, it's still the same box. Um, that was not what I meant to do right there. Actually, now that I think about it, um, don't know if pursuer will spawn just for me going up there or not. No. Okay, no pursuer spawn. I'm going to go over this way now that that guy's been taken. They filled in the level geometry. Okay, now be ambushing me. That's not Pepper Dragon Bone. That's still a very useful item. Um, I like where they move the Dull Ember to. It makes more sense to me. And there's our trusty two-hander. Yes! Can I rate this message multiple times? No? That is a tragedy. Okay, um... I will figure out what that item is some other time when I'm not carrying around near 70,000 souls. Yeah, that's what I'm going with. Back to Majula. I'm gonna have some water. In case there's weird noises. It is the only yes, yes, I know. Uh, 30 end. I'm gonna start working on ADP. I'm gonna go upgrade my Zvi Hunter. This one, please. Um, I guess my bow is the max upgrades. That's plus six, that's plus ten, plus ten. Okay, cool. Uh, I feel like I should buy something off of... Alright, paint stuff throwing me off there. Okay. Now, uh, why... There's a lot of stuff going on in Black Ultra. I don't know. I want this guy. I'm going to see. Yeah, there he is.
I'm not going to talk much during this fight. This is a crazy endurance battle. Yeah, nope. Nowhere near the timing I needed for... I like how he has to actually stab you with it. He can't just have it touch you. That was my face you just bashed. easy to see why I prefer life gems sometimes for healing just because the mobility allows you to create distance from the enemy while you're healing and they're still in their animation. Ow, I thought I would go underneath that but I guess the range was off. Face scratch. There we go. Blades plus one. Uh switch back to my morning star now a destructive great arrow eh was okay still pretty useless not sure it's worth the scary business of getting over there uh, yeah <sighs> alright there's enough souls that I want to go do something with them so pardon my frequent warping Actually, now that I th think about it, I don't think I grabbed Magrolds. No, I didn't. Um, I am going to go back to the start-ish area, because I want to go grab Magrolds. Um, fragrant branch of your... And I because I don't know. <gasps> Excuse me there. I don't know when I'll need one next. It's really hoping one of those at least would hit, but whatever. And I think I'll go see if Gavlon is around for the remainder. 
souls. I want more poison arrows because those are extremely useful. Yes, I finally decided to come and visit after that. Not all that actually long. Make use of these hundred bones that I'm collecting. Hopefully he's still in the same place. Uh, talking about... Uh, Gavlon. Stone Halberd is technically a good weapon. Ooh, Titanite Chunk. Now that is a nice drop. I like myself some Titanite Chunks. Hi, Wheelandiel. Yes, I will make... Actually, let me sell some stuff I don't really need to you. Um... Like some of these boots of your people. Uh, is there anything else? Yeah, these. Magic stone makes for a very poor infusion, in my own personal opinion. That seems good. I indeed go home. Alrighty, that gets me the poison arrows that I want, and uses up the souls that I don't want to lose. So, although mm, haven't done too poorly when it comes to blood stains, the sky is different. He was a. Uh, Okay, whatever. It's not terribly important. A captain. Um. Yeah. I didn't. Those guys are very difficult to fight when there is more than one, especially with a weapon with sort of sweep as this one. Could probably do it okay with this Y hander. These guys do give quite a few souls. I know there's a dude there, I don't really feel like I targeting him right now though. You. Nice dodge. Let me stand back up, let me stand back up, let me stand back up. Uh, that was not what I was expecting. Okay, so Forlorn invades after there, so that's a nice piece of data. Man, it's going to take me a couple of times through here to relearn everything.
did not actually swap my weapon there. Whoa, apparently I didn't like that. Switch over to my halberd. Uh, forlorn? Oh, forlorn? I thought you invaded here. Is that not the case? Or is that forlorn that fell off the cliff after me? I thought it was the turtle, but it may have been forlorn. I didn't see Invader banished. Do I have a reasonably huge supply of those? Yeah, threes. Uh, threes, all right. It's over there. Um, I'm gonna go grab the items up here, but I'm not actually gonna go to Buffy Soul just yet. Up. They've added a gate. Think this is like a randomly bizarre to have here ring. Yeah, Thunder Quartz. You'd think it'd be fire. I think I'm winning this. I think my turtle trick worked. Ow. This is a good time for poison arrows. Chug. I'm gonna try to avoid stepping on the buttons. Oh, that's not terribly exciting. Drops. Eh, whatever. That one's hard to avoid without some fancy footwork. For a place that I thought would be super resistant to fire, this isn't actually doing half poorly. That guy successfully walked into fire and got burned. And 
And that guy thankfully ignored me. I will return the favor. Hey, got boots. Okay, Monastery Charm and Lord Soul. I feel like there was a Titanite there before, but... I'm not sure on that. That would seem like a weird thing to arbitrarily change. Uh-huh. question is, do I go up to the upper floor now or later? I think I'd do it later. I kind of want to just get this next bonfire right now. Actually, does a surprisingly good job here, which I'm rather pleased about. burn. Now, end. I don't know why the bonfire wouldn't still be up here. Um... That makes that area a little more interesting, that's for sure. Yay, magical lover! So I have enough supplies that right now I'm inclined to just actually go and go to the upper path now while all those enemies that I killed are dead. Still a lightning short bow. Be a little easier to get across just due to the lack of fire jets going. So much calmer without all that going on. I don't know how well that came across in the microphone. Probably kind of poorly. Okay. Let's switch to the other configuration. Yeah, much easier to go across here without that going. Still a bunch of things here. Um, I wonder if the Mimic is still up this way. That was an incredible amount of... Yeah. All over the collector. Hello. What do you do? You get backstabbed all over. That is 
I have bad news for you. That bad news is lava. Oh, selfless giver is... I just got R10 in... Watch my flopper at land. That is an ordinary chest. With ten destructive arrows in it. Uh, I'll probably be leaving Way of the Blue soon then. On account of maxing it out. That's probably a good idea. my arrows just try to provide any sort of interesting thing right here. Uh, poison arrow sniping is extremely effective, but also not ex terribly exciting. Now, what I am most curious to determine is if it is still the gold covetous ring down there. Uh, that was a nice corpse. And a simpleton spice, also rather nice. You are a metal chest. You're s just a metal chest, in fact. That's what I like to see. Black Knight Great Axe. Actually, I'm going to switch to the silver cat ring for this bit of platforming. Platforming might be a strong word. Stay calm. Good advice. There is an item over here. A cracked red eye orb and a torch. I feel like the cracked red eye orb is a new part of that, but I'm not positive. Try a ranged battle. Oh, uh, probably for those guys. That guy over there. Hopefully nobody ambushes me on this ledge. A lot of ranged battle advice. Um, don't want to fall in that lava. Now, is this still the gold covetous? Yep, covetous gold serpent ring. Still what that is. Sorry about the noise. Okay, cool. That area has been successfully looted. Um, although it would seem that a bunch of mimics got moved, and I'm finding that a little interesting. Okay, where's my don't break my gear? Yeah, yeah, like I, I personally don't think it makes a whole lot of sense for that ring to be there. Um, the the gold cover this ring, just because it's so much easier to get the plus one off of Magrold. Uh, versus doing some crazy climbing stuff. So that item is pretty easily skippable. I mean, I'm getting it just to make sure it is the pretty easily skippable worthless item that it was. Turns out it is, so now I know. But before I knew, I didn't know. Uh, kind of thought a logical statement there, but basically what I'm getting as I wanted to confirm because a lot of different items have been changed. Uh, which I like. To be sure. There of Level up. And I want ADP. Thank you.
You look well. No interest. Yeah, your supplies are a little, a little meh. Still working on that. That I can put away. A bunch of these I can put away, frankly. Um. More inclined to put these into my supply hander and my shield. Don't ask me why. I failed to see if the forlorn had a chest piece, and I kind of want to know. I'll be around. Uh, something I'd like to investigate at some point. Yes. You're welcome, Malentia. Alright, let's go after the old Iron King and see how many tries it takes me. I um, don't expect anything different. I don't know if there's going to be anything different in the path leading up to him, though. I certainly have a desire for a banana. I like bananas. Um... I think they're pretty tasty. I came out ahead on that trade. That animation was clearly meant to be played at a faster speed. They nerfed all of those at some point in time. Cast speed wise this is an interesting area. Wish the three D worked a bit of well. I don't think I'm blocking a whole lot. As they say in magic, if you're not blocking, you should be attacking. I'm gonna let this guy pop up. Icarus Earth. <sighs> should I just keep count of how many times I accidentally roll off the platform? That's happened to me quite a few times in the past, I feel. I get the idea. You're walking towards me. Great. One, two, three, four. Shockwave! Seems like a good moment to just come over here and heal the minor amount of damage I took. Super thankful I didn't land in a pool of lava there. Yeah, breathe your fire. Okay. That actually went a lot better overall than I was afraid it would. Had a few close calls, but... 
That would have been a rude spot for Mimic, but I would not put it past FromSoft. Huh, petrified something. Um, now, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, okay, I don't have the thing. Whoa! Ah, Aldia. Hi! Well, that was dramatic. Very interesting. Heard about him, but this is my first time actually encountering him. So I can't go here yet. I don't have the items. Um, I don't know when or how I'm going to get them. Well, thanks told me. Not that I expect to be told anything in this game, but... Where are you? There you are. You are blessed with a myriad of souls. I am. Bearer of the curse. Make your way to the castle. I will. But first, a level up. Yeah, a bunch of points of ADP. Can't have too much ADP. Uh, A is not run in this game. You've been well. I played a little bit of Shadow of Mordor earlier, and that just was disoriented me apparently. No interest. You know what? You know what? Mm, you go visit our good friend, the Crow Lady. Actually, if I'm perfectly honest, I should wait until I have a DLC weapon to visit Crow Lady. Because uh, Crow Lady gives you an item for free, and some of the DLC weapons have quite the price tag attached to them. You. Yeah, I smelt a demon sword. Can you sell anything I want? I'll grab your cast light. It's kind of meh. But I c might as well. Oh, not for human effigies effect. Might as well grab it. Uh, this one. That person has the nil great, nil great, curve great sword. I'm not actually 100 percent sure what that item is called. Oh, 
Oh, they just drop a golden falcon shield. Ooh. Bonk. I bonked him. He got bonked. This it calls for a great heal excerpt. Oh, you don't kneel for that one. Oh, that one is supposed to be a relatively fast cast, which is why it has only one use. A stronger, less usable, as it were, heal. I'm well, surprised I'm to this spot already in some ways. It feels like I've made it my, through my my way through the game relatively quickly. I wonder if Vendrick will give me the keys for the DLC areas. That would be interesting. That's right. I don't get to open that myself. Wee. I'm just going to come here because it's beautiful and because I forgot that the problem of going forward was in the, the lock. Why is it... I don't recall it being snow blind like this before. I hear Sigmire in my head. Close, still close. Mmm. Well, this certainly should prepare you for what's to come. I think. I may desire my... that's the wrong way. Mace soon, but we shall see. I have no idea why you take this one at a time. Oh, repair's not there anymore. It's now the soul of a hero. That's... I'm going to avoid singing that. Uh... It's a little different through here.